Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you one of my favorite car wash routines which is uh, the use of a uh, foam sprayer to get a snow foam on uh, your car which is perfect for pre-cleaning the car before you actually proceed with the hand wash. Uh, if you own a nice car and if you've purchased for the car yourself with your own money and you want to take good care of it you'll have probably have learned from many videos and articles out there that doing a hand wash is the best way to uh, conserve your car's, your car's paint and to take good care of it. Um, but what I really don't like with these uh, car washes that I need to go to because I'm unable to wash my car at home and I can't use a high pressure washer there. So I go to these manual car washes and you know you never know what shampoo you'll get or it's too thin, it may be too aggressive. Uh, and on top of that, yeah, it can be expensive also. I mean, why would you pay for something that has a lousy snow foam? So I went on to buy this device on uh, Amazon. I got the Zonax uh, one, the, the German uh, car detailing brand. Uh, but this one is exactly the same as the uh, Gloria. Um, and uh, I think it's the Gloria FM30, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they work exactly the same. Um, so in this video we'll focus on the Zonax, but uh, yeah, if you don't like Zonax or you want a different brand, Gloria, and I think there are also other ones that make exactly the same device. Now what is very cool about this device is that you can put 3 liters in there, which is uh, more than enough uh, for a large uh, car and for the tires and for some extra foam. And uh, you basically use this pump to pump it uh, vacuum and the pressure builds up and then because of this uh, pressure you're able to produce with the lens here a fantastic snow foam and as you can see how it's angled it's also perfectly angled to go in uh, in cracks to go under your car for example if you want to clean it after winter and get some of the salt and the dirt off uh, and also to go uh, around the tires and if you spray this uh, from the top of your car and you get the consistency right you'll have a perfect snow foam every time here you have um, just a short demo the uh, valve so once you've reached the right pressure uh, you'll hear the noise and then the uh, over pressure is uh, released then you know that you've reached the perfect pressure to uh, start foaming and uh, what's really good with this device is it comes with multiple yeah, nozzles, basically uh, the thing in there that produces the foam. I am right now on the red nozzle, which is uh, here in the device itself. Uh, but you also have uh, green, blue and black. I think black is the most thick snow foam. I haven't been able to have a good experience with that because it's just too thick. Blue is uh, is a lot of people's favorite, and of course green uh, with the least uh, the least uh, foam. I'll show you something here. So I've turned them around for you, and then you can actually see what is in these uh, nozzles. So as you can see, uh, well, let's call it some yellow sponge that's uh, responsible for making uh, the foam. As you can see in the blue one, it's quite tiny, so more water, less foam. And here in the black one, of course, uh, the most aggressive uh, foam. And here, uh, yeah, a bit in between. I like uh, the red one. Um, why these, uh, these, these nozzles are so, so important and uh, so beneficial to the device? Uh, because they allow you to use only very little amounts of snow foam, making this device uh, extremely um, yeah, economical if you want to save money and still use high quality products for example i mean this is not a zonex commercial i've purchased things with my own money uh, i also put other other stuff in there but i happen to have only one snow foam here in my uh, in among my supplies but for example this one says i'm not sure if you can read it there anyways i'll read it for you this one says you need only 15 milliliter uh, per one liter of water. So for my car, I usually put two liters of uh, water in there. And then uh, according to this, you would need only 30, maybe 40 liter meter, milliliter tops. Uh, but the whole thing is of course one liter. So you can really use 
a lot of snow foam uh, and it won't break the bank. And uh, this thing works also very well with car shampoos um, and it can create a fantastic thick foam every time, which is perfect to break down all the dirt before you actually start going with your hand on the car. So we're going to take a look at this device. I'll show you how it works, uh, what it foams like. And uh, yeah, then I hope uh, I have been able to convince you to also get uh, a snow foam device in case you're unable to uh, use the high pressure uh, washer at home. You don't have your own driveway or it's forbidden to wash on the street. Then taking this device with your favorite products is a fantastic experience and uh, you'll get a super clean car every time and really nice foam which is quite satisfying. Let's take a look how it goes at the car wash and uh, we'll continue talking there. I took uh, today 3 liters of water because the car is quite dirty and I have only 45 milliliter of the snow foam. I always like to take hot water with me uh, to the car wash uh, because that works much better. So before I go, I just throw it in here. Up, there goes the 45 milliliter. And then I uh, seal it. And once I get there, I just shake it around a little bit and then you're ready to go. Okay, so we've arrived at the car wash. The Bolt EV Opel Ampere E is in the shade and we're ready for the foam cannon. First, we need to pump up the foam cannon to get the right pressure. So what I've done is already put the foam at home as you've seen and I like to shake it around a bit so that it mixes good and then you start pumping it up until you get to the right pressure and here you will soon hear when you get to the right pressure that's why I took this bigger one, because with a small foam gun you can imagine how much work this is and how much you need to pump every time. You hear that? You can see the color changing also. Now we got to the right pressure. All right, let's see how it foams. I always like to carry the device on my shoulder. You look a bit like a ghostbuster, but then you have your hands free and you can operate it really well. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. As you can see, not too thick, not too thin. And that's a perfect snow foam consistency. So that's why these devices are so good for doing your pre-wash. Let's continue with the rest. And you just move it up and down. Make sure you cover the whole area. And that's quite nice. Also here on the tires. So for all of you like me that don't have a high pressure washer at home, this is a fantastic solution. And because of this structure, you can even go in the tire compartments itself. I think it's an amazing device. Let's do the rest of the car. So, the whole car is uh, foaming, pre-washing. And I'm always very happy with the result of these uh, foam, uh, hand foam sprays. As you can see, here it starts to dissolve nicely, breaking down all the dirt. And I think this is a fantastic product. And uh, whatever shampoo you put in, you can get really nice scents also. And every time this nice, uh, nice result. What I don't like about it is that you find yourself pumping a lot more than you expected. So I thought I'm gonna get a big one. There won't be so much pumping. But basically, one side, one quarter of the car, and you already need to pump again uh, like a crazy monkey. 
however you pump for 30 seconds and then you can do another panel which is of course still much better yeah compared to a, a small hand pump where after just one door you would need to re-agitate it every time so definitely get yourself a big one still easy to carry yeah and this one as you can see it's not that huge also so um, I would definitely get the three liter one and not the small one so welcome back uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and the demonstration of the uh, portable foam sprayer from Zonax or the Gloria FM30 I believe which is exactly the same Basically, I highly recommend these devices, as I've told you. Final step you need to do when you get home is go to this pressure ventile, grab it, lift it up. And just to release all that pressure that's in there. And so, before you actually open it up, remove the residue, uh, give it a rinse with water. Um, and uh, before you store it. Now what I recommend you to do is uh, just to uh, clean it like you've said, remove this, let it dry. And here also um, I would recommend to fill it up with a little bit of water, give it a few pumps, then spray out uh, the residue of uh, shampoo in the sink. And then once you're done maybe open it up uh, if you're not planning to use it for a long time and wash that, uh, that ventile a bit so that you remove all the shampoo. Um, also, another tip is that if it's full with three liters, it's heavy, I wouldn't carry it on this here because what's holding it together here, although I hope you can see it, I mean, it's hard plastic, but it's still plastic and that's a lot of weight on there. And there were some incidental reviews on Amazon where people say that that broke. I recommend that you just hold it and carry it like this, wrap it around your hand a few times or around your shoulder. And then when it's empty, it's okay to carry it uh, like this. So, hope you found this video was useful. Um, I'll put links in the description below where you can get this. I purchased this with my own money. I think it was about 50 euro. Uh, but great product that will last you really long. And uh, will really elevate your manual car wash and make it a very pleasant experience. Do you also use the Zonax or a different uh, foam sprayer? Let me know in the comments below and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye.